In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a wandering ring pour. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 36 canvas and I have all metallic colors and I am doing a wandering ring pour. I'm going to change it up a bit though and I'm going to throw in some cloud effect white today. I don't think I've ever done uh, one this uh, long on this long of a canvas before. So I'm very uh, excited to see what happens, see what kind of um, effects I get if I can get the nice clouds. You can see that I'm putting my colors down the side there like I normally do and I'm going to be putting a lot of paint in this beaker because I need a lot of paint. So right there you saw that I put a, um, it was like a specimen size cup underneath the canvas because in a wandering ring pour you have to lift the canvas so it wanders down the canvas and right here i am the video is definitely sped up normally when i do a ring pour uh, i am going really slow well not really slow but slower um, to make sure i get my uh, nice rings because um, that helps create those lines and um, that's one of the things you kind of have to have some patience with because getting having to hold that cup it sometimes gets a little frustrating and it gets a little hard after a while because you're continuously you know spinning in a in a circle a little circle like that so um like i said patience is key in a, any type of ring pour all right so i've taken my cup out there and now i'm putting white around and sometimes i put the white completely covering the canvas but I, I was at the end of my white here so I just put it on afterwards um, sometimes it does help to put it on first to coat the canvas completely because what will happen is oh sorry about my hair there um, but it will the, the dry canvas when you're pouring the paint on and it's gliding down it will pull the paint under it so if you missed that when I was pouring it first you can go back and look because you can definitely see where the paint is being pulled underneath all right so pop those bubbles um, that's very helpful you don't need those in there sometimes they are stubborn and you have to go over them a couple times okay so now it is time to move this paint around the first thing I like to do on these longer canvases is try to get it down to the other end, I'll stretch it down first. And with this one, I because I have the cloud effect mix in there, you can definitely see it's in the middle there. I'm trying to spread it so I can open it up and get those that white to, you know, look more cloudy. Um, and sometimes it's a little uh, difficult with this long of a canvas to uh, get everything uh, covered and try to, you gotta sometimes set it down and just look at it to see where there's spots that you like and spots that you know you don't care if you dump off. This one here, um, I really did kinda like this corner, um, but I had to, um, I wanted to cover it. I was thinking about leaving some negative space, and you can. Um, I have left negative space in some of my longer ones also. Um, but there was already, you can see how bright this thing is. Um, there was already so much white that um, I wanted to make sure that it gets completely covered. And this corner um, is no exception. I'm trying to get that paint down there as well. And I'm trying to help it. You can you can use your finger a little bit sometimes to um, help pull the paint uh, over. And it's, um, I think right here is where you'll see, yeah, I pull the paint over to try to help it. So that's a good little tip to remember. All right, so it's covered and now I am touching up the sides and if there's any spots on my canvas that aren't covered, I always use my drippings from the canvas 
um, and try to you know make sure it matches pretty good and now I'm gonna go over it one last time with my torch just in case there's any um, stubborn air bubbles that um, are hidden in there I like to make sure that those are all popped okay everybody so we've got some wet photos for you to see I am loving how bright this looks all the golds are just amazing um, and I am really really happy that I used the cloud effect white I think it turned out super cool I wasn't sure because I'd never done one on this long of a canvas before so all in all so happy with it so far I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed um, that it dries just as bright Okay guys, so now you are in for a treat. You get to see the dried result and it is just as bright dry as it was wet. So I am super happy with it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. So leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna watch some more awesome videos, click those on the left and I'll catch you in my next video.